Welcome back to You, Me, and the RV. Today we're situated just outside Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yes, we're about 15 or 20 minutes from Hot Springs National Park, which is what brought us here, of course. We're not actually staying on the campground connected to the National Park. They do have one, and it has um, full hookups, so um, 30, 50 amp water and sewer, but they are pretty small, and they're on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you want to stay closer, um, again, we're only 15 or 20 minutes out, you can check that out first. Not a bad drive. No, not at all. We drove it last night when we went in to uh, find the local Planet Fitness, so it's not that far out. No. The campground we are staying at is called Cloud 9 RV Park, and it's actually pretty nice. It is. It's a pretty nice park. Um, driving in looked a little hairy. You're going up an S-curve up the side of a hill, uh, but when you get to the top, surprisingly, it's very nice, very open. Very open. It's um, The lots are all gravel. Um, they do have a uh, facilities, bathroom, laundry, um, and we popped in there last night and it's super clean. It even clean. it's even smells really good in there, which is shocking for an RV bathroom. You don't if, you don't get that all the time. If it passes a smell test, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. They also have a clubhouse with uh, pool tables and they have a um, a horseshoe pit set up outside of it. It's very nice. It, it's very relaxing. It's quiet. Everywhere you look there's trees. Um, it's just a, a very nice park to hang out in. It is um, meets my budget, which is under forty bucks a night. I think it's actually exactly forty bucks a night, but they do offer discounts. So we got the military discount, and they have a few other discounts, Good Sam, and a couple of others. So mm -hmm. make sure if you come this way, you ask for them. Right. So today, of course, we're going into town to check out Hot Springs National Park. It'll actually be our first national park, and um, yep. we've been to a lot of the state parks, but this will be our first national park. So I'm ready to pick up my national park book so I can start getting them stamped off. Finally. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. All right, we're down here on Bathhouse Row, making our way to the visitor center, and then uh, hopefully we can check out one of these hot springs. I finally got it, my national park pass. Now she's legit. Get ready, I'm gonna start stamping her up, fill up the book. <laughs> Okay, well maybe not that fast, but you know, I have time. We'll pace ourselves. <laughs> tell you a little bit about our hot bath experience you know tell them everything that happened oh yeah the good the bad and the ugly okay nothing happened nada we walked in and they were already booked up they were booked up for the day by like 10 30. so word of the wise um if you want to do either the hot bath or um or even the massage or anything like that, make sure you're here when they open at eight because <laughs> yeah. they don't take reservations um, and it's first come first serve and they do book, they can book the whole day out. Now there is another um, bathhouse open. It's more of a spa, so you pay a little more in, uh, with the prices and they offer a couple other things that the uh, regular bathhouse doesn't off offer. Um, they take reservations, but they also were booked up, so. Although we could for 20 bucks sit in our bathing suit in the water in like a big pool on the inside, but we opted out for that. Or I could stand in my own RV shower and save 20 bucks. <laughs> Not the same thing, but whatever. <laughs> so the plan is um, we're gonna try and be here tomorrow at 8 a.m. and see if we can get in. Um, before we have to leave because we check out at 11. So if not, then we'll have to wait and hit it on the way back through. Oh, man, we got to do better at planning. <laughs> That's all right, you know, we'll be back. It's not a big deal. I so wanted to soak in that hot spring today. No, today. you wanted a massage. Well, that too. Yeah. So, But we'll see if we can't get it in the morning. Um, if not, then you'll have to wait till we make our way back through <laughs> when we go back to Texas and um, we will be here first thing in the morning if that happens. Ooh, a cliffhanger. Ooh, dun dun dun. Maybe. Ooh, that, was, that didn't sound good. That's not a bad. That was schools yeah. of tires. We were waiting for a crash. <laughs> All 
All right. Oh, in case you're wondering how we're in the middle of Bathhouse Row with all these trees behind us, there's actually a, um, more of the National Park behind the Bathhouse Row, um, and it has some trails. So I think the longest one is about a mile, but they're paved. So if you want to stroll through here um, while you're waiting on your appointment for your um, soak or your massage, um, it's kind of nice. Now you know why I'm not talking much. I'm kind of out of breath from the <laughs> hike up here. Oh, we went 10 feet. It's really not that big a deal. And it's hot. That is hot. I bet you're all dying to know what happened in the bathhouse. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> all right, let's start with the price. So the price for mine was $69, and that included a massage. The price for Phil's was $5 more. No. Four. Three. Four. It was $4 more. Okay, the price for Phil's was $4 more because he got the loofah. I opted out of the loofah because I didn't want anyone loofahing me. I didn't know that I was opting into the loofah. <laughs> I was just handed a loofah. But you can opt out of that. Yeah, so, all right, so here's the deal. You go inside. You go into a, um, of course, men go on one side, women go on the other side. You go into your locker room. You change out of your clothes. Basically, you get naked. And then you're wrapped in a sheet toga style. Or however you can get it wrapped around your body, like I did. I was toga. So from there you go into the bath and you have an attendant who follows you and takes you into the bath. Now the water is, um, the hot springs is 143 degrees. So right. they add water to it to bring it down to 100. So they keep the temperature regulated. It's always 100 degrees. Right. And when you get in the bath, you're in there... Uh, for about 15 minutes soaking. So if you're in a space by yourself, you're not in like this open bay. So with the curtain, so you are in there by yourself, but your attendant does help you get into the tub and back out. So they're going to see you in your birthday suit. And if you so happen to get lucky and have the loofah like me, then they get to loofah you. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I said no. Phil didn't know he said yes. I didn't know. Yeah, I kind of worked that out. Anyway, all right. From there, you go to the um, cooling table, which mm -hmm. is a metal table. They put <laughs> they put towels um, that are wrung out with the spring water on the bottom, and you mm -hmm. lay on that first. And then they put another towel like on your legs, which is also warm. And then they cover you with the sheet. Um, and then for me, because my attendant was pretty awesome, <laughs> she dipped another towel into a bucket of ice water and wrapped that around my around my head, around my face, to keep me from overheating as I laid there. And you lay there for another, what, 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah, roughly. Um, as the towels cool, and then you slowly cool off as well. Yeah, I was not so lucky. I did get the hot towels and wrapped like a mummy, but I didn't get a cold towel, so I missed out on that. Yeah. And then from there? I went to the sits bath, which was uncomfortable only because it's a small, low, Basin, kind of. Basin that you sit in. Um, yeah, I would have skipped that if I'd have known it was like that as well. It's supposed, they say it's for your back if you have back pains or whatever. I opted out of the sits bath. I've been a nurse for many years and I know what we did for a sits bath and I figured I didn't need that. I wish you would have conveyed that to me. <laughs> Oops. Times two. Yeah. Okay. You see where this is going. This is all Stacy getting evil. <laughs> no, um, I'm not, I swear. With me. <laughs> So after the sits bath is the sauna. Right. So your sauna, tell about your Mine sauna. Mine was like a traditional walk-in type sauna. It was a small room, steam-filled room. You went in, um, you have the option to sit down. I didn't. And uh, I was in there for about five minutes. You had the option to sit? There was a small bench in there that you could uh, sit in. Yeah, wise me. Yeah. I was in like a box. So you sit down on this bench. They put a towel down, you sit on this bench. Um, and underneath the bench, the... Um, the mineral water is running actually through it. So you get steam from um, underneath your feet. And then they like close this lid kind of around your neck a little bit. So you're basically in a metal box from your neck down. And then you only sit in there for like three, three to five minutes, I think. It was pretty fast. Lucky you. And then from there you go to the needle shower, which is supposed to rinse off the sweat and cool you off. Mine was very needly. <laughs> Mine was not needly at all. It was like someone spitting or, or flicking water at me. That's and about the, it. The needle shower is just small jets from yeah. pretty much your neck down. Um, some spots they felt really good. Other spots, not so much. <laughs> all right. And then from there, um, we went to our massage. 
mm-hmm. after that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we both went to a massage. My, um, the lady who did my massage was awesome. Um, it was a typical massage, very similar to massages I'd had before. The only difference is the oil she used. She did warm it ahead of time, which was perfect. So she did an excellent job. Again, you set me up. I did not. Was, mine was not even close to a relaxing massage. <laughs> you know when you get to the bottom of the ketchup and you squeeze it <laughs> and it makes that nasty sound? That's what I had to start my massage with the oil, okay? Um, wasn't pleasant. Very eye-opening. <laughs> Anywho, needless to say, I had more fun than Phil did. I check the box. I also check the box. So, you know, the whole point of this RVing is for us to get out of our comfort zone, to do something new, <laughs> to do something different, and we definitely got out of our comfort zone for this. For sure. So, it was a new experience we thought we'd try. It's something that they used to do in the late 18, early, um, or in late 18, what, 90s is when all these bathhouses open. It was supposed to make you healthy and, um, you know, purify the body and all this stuff. So, we thought we would check it out. Needless to say, um, one and done. Yeah, I, I, no, I wouldn't do it again, but I, I mean, I'm glad we did awful. it. I, it I'm wasn't, glad we did it. But it wasn't awful. No, it, it wasn't just awful. just out, you know, a little outside of our comfort zone. Yeah, I, I'm glad we did it. Um, I would not have chose a few things that occurred during my process, but, um, <laughs> other than that, it was, it, it was okay. It was okay. If you have been to Hot Springs National Park, drop us a line and in the comments and let us know what you thought. A lot of people really like it and a lot of people go back over and over and over. So definitely, you know, don't look at what we're saying and let that stop you from going if it's a place you wanted to go check out. We just are, you know, when we talk to you, we're going to give you our honest opinion, our honest feedback. But we are not the end-all, know-all, be-all to, to anything. No, it's just no. a personal preference is all it is. Yeah, so, and if you if it's on your list to do, go and do it. I mean, it's, it wasn't horribly bad. I just didn't have the same experience that Stacy had. Yeah. Um, so I, My attendants know, were just better and more attentive yeah. and, and than what Phil had. So yeah. Phil had a, his attendant had an off day, let's just say. Yeah, the sniffles. <laughs> He can't help if he has a gold. <laughs> that uh, it just, you know, it ruins the, the atmosphere for me. But, again, <laughs> I'm not an expert in hot baths. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on, on the, the road. road. So. You just start off with so. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> we're losing <Okay>. daylight. <laughs> All right. Um, we're not actually staying on the park. No, you said not. that. Okay, let's try one more time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hold on, do it again. I was still making a face. <laughs> <laughs>